A superior family of seven is still struggling after losing everything in the Marshall Fire. While working to rebuild their lives, a thief stealing what little belongings they have out of their car. Denver 7's Christian Lopez shares their story and what you can do to help. We were living in a house. And it, it was all completely lost? Completely lost, burned to the ground. We had about maybe two minutes to get out, grab our shoes, the fire department, and the police were outside our doors. Tylea Pangle, her husband, and five young children have been working to find a sense of stability ever since. They were staying in a hotel until they were able to find temporary housing. Our children didn't understand. They wanted to go home. There was a lot of tears and explanations of, you know, what had happened. We had to show them because they didn't get it. And they're still young. You know, our oldest is 12. She understands, but not the full extent. Our little ones just don't get it. They want to go home. They want their toys back. The family of seven has been struggling to make ends meet. My husband lost his business. We lost literally everything. I had to quit my job because um, on top of that, their daycare had closed down because it had so much smoke damage. On top of that, there was another unexpected obstacle. I came out one morning to get my kids to school and I noticed that my doors were unlocked, which was really weird because it's remote controlled. Somebody had rifled through. They had taken everything, like everything was just completely trashed. She says some of the items taken from her car were donations from the community. Like an invasion of privacy. Like it's, we didn't have a lot. We still don't have a lot. So like when somebody comes in and they take what you already, you know, much that you don't have, it just kind of stings. The Pangle family is also dealing with being underinsured. They've launched a GoFundMe page to help. I think just saving enough money to get us somewhere after we're out of temporary housing in order to just rebuild so my kids can have that stability. I think that's the most important thing. If you'd like to help, we'll post a link on our website, thedenverchannel.com, under this story. Reporting in Boulder County, Christian Lopez, Denver 7. Wow. All right, Christian.